this is Sheenerd from Nerd Central, and today I'm going to do a let's play of The Sims 4 Get to Work. As you can see in this screen, my game is in Dutch, but I will explain everything in English so that everyone can understand what this game is about and what I'm doing. Also, I'm going to skip all the loading screens because no one wants to see loading screens that take forever, and I don't know if it's my laptop or not, but the game takes fairly long to load. So I'm going to save you that. Well, here is my area. It's called Oasis Spring, this neighborhood. And um, I have a family there and their last name is Black. And they have... It's a man and a woman and they have four teenagers. And um, recently we had a new baby. I'm going to tell you a little bit more when I have loaded the household. And my uh, female sim is pregnant with another child as well, so I'm going to uh, load the game and we'll see what I mean. Okay, so here we are in my household. Here's Jacob and it's weird because a few days ago I was playing and I was making him and his wife work in the backyard. And all of a sudden Jacob was gone. Not from my bottom family list, basically, but he was nowhere on the on the lot. So I was I was wondering what what's going on. So then all of a sudden he reappeared, and apparently he was abducted by aliens. And I didn't pay much attention to that anyway. But then after a day, he started growing a stomach, and I thought it was very weird. And, um, well, he was uh, getting woohoo with Karen, his wife, and two days after that, he gave birth to this little critter. It's a little alien baby. It was weird because I reported this as a bug on the Sims forum, and, um... I hadn't had any response yet, so probably they were just laughing their butts off because I didn't know that this yet. And, um, well, so now they have an alien baby in their family of six. And, um, it gives you the option when you click the, the cradle to send the baby back to its own world. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to do that. I mean, even though it's an alien baby, it's still Jacob's baby. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Leave some thoughts in the comments. Should I send her back to her own world or should I just raise her as our own? So, anyway, that's the funny business I came across playing The Sims 4 Get to Work. Uh, it's almost time for Jacob to go to work. As you can see, he is a police officer. He recently got promoted from cadet to officer. And he is working the career of detective. So in the long run, he will probably become a detective. Although this career is more tricky than the doctor's career. So... I will do another let's play another time with a doctor's career. Karen, his wife, is uh, becoming a doctor. And you will see a difference in assignments during the workday. So I'm going to fast forward to the time that he is going to work. And of course I'm going to skip the loading screen, so... You know. Fast forwarding. Kids off to school soon. Our kids to daycare, the babies. And here it's prompting me, asking me whether I want to go along with Jacob to his work or send him off alone and manage the household. So I'm going to click tag along because I'm going to show you a day in the work of an officer in Sims 4. <laughs> so, here we are at the police station, 
with the suspect from last time he went to work. And as you can see here, you have a box with objectives that you have to fulfill during the day of work. These are hints when you mouse over what you should do. When you fulfill these objectives, this meter fills up and the more it fills up, the more likely you will get a promotion into a higher rank. Now this little circle fills up and when it's almost full, it's time for you to go home. Your shift is over. You can click it and then a little pop-up box will appear and it will give you a choice to leave work early or if you want to work late or cancel the box. So let's see what Mr. Jacob, the cop, is going to do. He has to interrogate a suspect. Here is the suspect. So, interrogate suspect. We're going inside, and he's going to take him into the room to interrogate him. Lurbus. Ah, Lurbus. It's very uh -huh. typical. It's just a room with two chairs, table, and they're going to sit there and talk. And he is his Dutch name. He seems suspicious. So I guess when we're interrogating him, we want to gain some of his trust. So we're going to be good cop. Chit chat. <laughs> We're going to make some small talk and hope that he will let out his guard. Some more good cop. Ask politely about information. Tell a personal tale. Whoa, Poma. Pimbus. Me ploy Bajelja. Steve, Steve, Murbanagoosh, Luanza, Elfrisium Bara, Inar. Discuss the victim. Also important. Nerbs, Congolia, Lini Bimka, Bobni Gonza, Chebe. Promise him a delicious meal. Zanahoy, Quimba, Mustia, Wabis. The meter filled up and now it's going back down, so. I don't know whether it's good or not. Ask about the crime. Show him some pictures of the crime. Nardo Memka. Shibish. Quintal. E. Harpine. Now he seems friendly, so good cops seem to work, but this is a young guy, so let's hope good cop will be. Well, he seems friendly, so let's ask for information. So I'm slapping some evidence into his face. Showing him all the evidence. Ah, Oh, yeah. The meter fills up, so I hope that's a good thing. You see that meter here. 
He's very tense, but... I have no idea. I've never interrogated an, a suspect in this career, so... I hope we will get something done. Maybe I'll go so, try some bad cop. For Bishop. Uh huh. Bobbin after Romans. Yeah. Wenzel. Yes, Ben. Threatened to tickle him. Tell me, Finn Dura. Fuji. Yes, Ben Mimin. Kurawa Amananzo. Eh? Yarabno. Tell him some tales about him. what it's like in prison. And Serpa. Ooh, Yana Parzip. Magna's arms? Narbalashivu. Well, this seems like it's going nowhere, really. Now he's just defensive. <sighs> Tend to check your phone. Uninterested, basically. Penerf Lazamba. Ooh, ooh, Harden of Zam. Huh? Tevin A. Well, let's just end the interrogation because we're not really getting anywhere. I'm getting tired of it, basically, so. Oh, wait. A pop up. By exiting the interrogation early, the suspect will be released without ever being able to determine guilt or innocence. Oh my. Cancel. Okay, we'll just have to keep on interrogating. Bachi Narshkal Smeba. Mabu? Okay, so he appears to be guilty, and now I'm trying to get a confession. <laughs> well, that's been done. Putting him in a cell. There he goes. Case closed. There is one less criminal on, out on the streets. Okay. So, bye bye. Slam. Now we have another assignment. Search through the police database. So let's see if there's a computer free. There is. Search the database. And I think I want to spend some extra time trying to get some more credits. So I'm going to work late. And you see my time has just shifted back a bit. Too late. The head commissioner will really want me to talk to him. Friendly. Talk to the head commissioner. Oh, <laughs> 
You can stop talking now, your goal has been fulfilled, so there we go. Get another case. Oh, and they want me to talk to him again. Friendly. Talk to the head commissioner. And they want me to analyze some evidence. Done. Uh, these are familiar. You see these in the medical career as well. Jarjuk <laughs> Zaraza. And now they want me to put some clues on the crime board. So I'm going to start one up. And add some clues. Because I'm not going to do another full time consuming task today. Oh, sorry. Uh, my clues and my job is almost done, as you can see. 45 minutes left. Maybe a quick comparison. And I have done a great job today, as you can see. I have made some money, and the community is likely to appreciate his attempt to protect and serve. Well, that was a day in the life of Officer Jacob Black. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.